log into HMIS. And this is going to be our login screen. So this is where once you have access, you'll have your username and a temporary password. Uh, one of the things I like to review at this time is what's here and um, information about logging in. Uh, so one of the one of the things before we get into HMIS is reviewing privacy and security. So HMIS uh, is a large database. We have tens of thousands of clients' records. We have names, date of birth, social security numbers, all those, um, all that information, all the protected personal information of our clients. So what I like to share with folks is we need to treat our clients' information as if it was our own. So we want to be sure that we're using password protected screensavers that we're locking our workstation when we leave our, our computers or um, our devices. So essentially, um, when I leave my computer to go to the printer, go to a meeting, I lock my screen. If you're a Windows user, if you press the window button and the L key, it will um, turn on your screensaver. If you're a Mac user, um, I'll be honest, I'm not a Mac user, so these are things I looked up online. It's Control, Shift, Eject or Control, Shift, and power. If you're going to be leaving HMIS for greater than 30 minutes, you also want to be sure that you're logging out of HMIS before you lock your screen. And at the end of the day, you should be um, logging off your computer completely. So with passwords and going back to HMIS, uh, passwords are um, are private. You should never be, share your password with anybody. You should never allow your device to share your password for you. So with the first time you log into HMIS, our computer systems are very nice to us. They try to say, hey, would you like us to save that? You want to be sure you're saying no. Um, with HMIS, if you forget your password or mistype your password, if you if you log it in, I believe it's three times, it could be five, but if you do it too many times HMIS will get mad at you and it will ban you. If that happens, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, if it's a Monday through Friday business day, all you need to do is send us a quick email at HMIS at sacstepsforward.org and we can reactivate your account or reset your password. If it's after hours, uh, or holiday or weekend, and you remember your password, you just did something silly like had your cap locks on or your number lock off, uh, what you can do is wait about an hour. HMIS will, will stop being mad at you and it will reopen your account and then you can log in. Our passwords are set up that every three months we do need to change our password. Um, passwords need to be a minimum of eight characters long, contain an upper and a lowercase letter, a number and a symbol. And then the, uh, the last thing is if you don't use your, path, your, your login for greater than 30 days, your account will go inactive. Uh, so if you do let your account go in, inactive and you need to get back into HMIS, you'll just need to send us an email at hmis at and we can reactivate your account for you.